All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. So, uh, yeah, another flashlight review. You guys ready for this one? Uh, not just o light, got some night core, but this is a through night. This is their TC15 custom indoor outdoor CW new through night. Through night. Anyway, it comes in a little box like this, and I have actually, I've opened it. I like that little band thing that they send out. Now, let me preface this whole video here. Guys, I'm not a flashlight expert, and nor do I ever want to be one. Somebody made a comment, like, if you're going to review flashlights, you got you, 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 need to, you need to learn the proper terminologies. And I go, well, I'm not a flashlight guy. They sent them to me because I've got... I, I like flashlights, but I'm not a flashlight reviewer. So if you're looking for me to use the proper terminologies like lumens, throw, uh, you know, spread, and, and all that other neat jazz, it's probably not going to happen because I like to have fun. So with that, let's go ahead and have some fun. So I open this thing up. It says right here, quick guide. Please screw down the light head and tail cap tightly before use, which is, you know, a pretty good thing to do. It comes protected in this little... Uh, plastic looking thing here and there you go kind of like a burnt bronze the 390 tc15 pretty nice little flashlight i do like the color of it again this is one of those flashlights that you can charge via a regular usb port it does have a rubberized uh, enclosure right there cover the on and off switch is made of metal it is sealed and you can tell well let me go ahead and tighten it up so there's the tail cap i wonder so there's three different pieces you got. You got a tail cap here, the body piece here, and then the, well, I guess that's it. So let's open it. Before we turn it on, let's go ahead and open it up. It's got the through night 31 milliamp battery, 3.6 volt. Pretty neat. And these things are so common now. Everybody's got them around. So there's the battery. There's the enclosure. It does have a little O-ring right there to weather strip or weather seal. The on button is made of metal. It's also sealed. Now that we've got the battery screwed in tight, let's go ahead and turn it on. And just like any of the other through nights, you have, there's the candlelight moon. There's the next level. There's the next level. And off on. So one, two, three, double tap. You go super bright, triple tap. And you've got your strobe. Oh yeah, we're dancing. Can't you feel it? Oh, there's a guy next to me who doing some shooting, and I gotta take a break between all his shooting. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and go through the contents of the box. We do have a set of instructions. Let's see what the lumens are for this thing because ultimately at the end of the day what we're going to do is we're going to take it over once it gets dark and we're going to shine this guy out onto the range so we know what's going on so on turbo mode it's 2300 lumens and on high it's 1050 lumens and 250 lumens on medium 25 lumens on low and instead of a firefly one lumen now on the turbo at 2300 lumens is two minutes uh, and then it drops down to 820 lumens for 83 minutes. Uh, at the high, not the turbo, but the high, at 1,050 lumens, you got 90 minutes of battery. 250 lumens at 6.5 uh, 6 hours. Wow, that's pretty good. And 25 lumens, you got 68 hours. So if you're out there struggling and you don't have a battery backup, well, you're going to be in good shape. I like the way they put this little card in here. Thanks for your order through through night. Uh, hope you love and have a good experience to, to our products. If you have any problems, please feel free to contact, contact service at throughnight.com anytime. All right, so other than that, I'll put the uh, details down below. We're going to take this thing out to the long range and see how it performs. That's a big test. We're going to try to do those tests for these flashlights on the same range, on the same, and the same time of day, which is, well, nighttime, and see how far it goes. I, uh, I like that. That's going to be bright. To me, I think one of the most important things is functionality. Of course, you don't have a tail switch right here. It does have a lanyard loop. You can store it up right just like that, but you're going to be using one contact button. So anyway, let's get on out here. Wait till nightfall. Otherwise, we're going to be shooting some firearms here in a few seconds. Stand by. All right, guys, so we're sitting out here in the night. And uh, one of the things that I wanted to do was just break out the night core. This is the flashlight that I did last week and show you 
a quick comparison of the different levels that uh, are coming out. So that's one, two, three. That's the high level of the night core. And while I say that's a pretty good, because I can see the 200 very easily with that, uh, you're going to be surprised here real quickly. Now, let's go over some real quick pros and cons of this guy right here. And what I'm going to do is I have my little light. So let's go ahead and change it around. Here we go. Stand by. Okay, so we're sitting out here, and what we have is this little light booger right here. Now, the only thing that I can see is a disadvantage. One is I personally like a tail button right there, tail switch. Momentarily, momentary on and a full on. The button on this guy is located right there. It's made of metal. Now, there is a contour there, but you got to run your finger all the way around this in order to see it go on. So let's do this real quickly. I'm going to shine it out behind me at the different levels. It does have the turbo mode and let's see how bright it gets. Here we go. So that's on. And the nice thing is the different power button, the power is, is controlled by the on and off button. So you just hold it down. One, two, three. One, two, three as you can see now that is the high but then we have turbo and you can see all the way out to the 200 not a problem now the difference is in the beam and the width in which it presents and I'm going to go ahead and show you over here you can see the wood line and how big that beam area is if this is something that you're interested in, yeah, I wouldn't mind suggesting this. This is a very bright light. It does, and it is getting hot quickly. Uh, you can see right here, there's a little blue light on it, which is really, really cool. I like that. And you can see, bzz, 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 bzz. but yeah, right now it's very hot to the touch. So we'll go ahead and drop that down. Hold it down for that, well, triple, triple punch it. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. <laughs> to get that strobe. Because, you know, we're dancing. We're dancing. I knew that you'd be waiting for it. Okay. Good Lord. That makes me nervous. All right. So, anyway, that's it. Double punch it for the high beam. It's a little hazy this evening. I'm sure probably with a little bit clearer air out here, we would be seeing it better. But look over there at the wood line. And you can follow that all the way out. Not a bad looking light. I tell you what the best thing about this thing is the way it's anodized. It is. Hold on a second. Look at that. Looks like a big cigar. Uh -huh. Anyway, uh, I love the color. It's a beautiful, like a burnt bronze color. It's not flat dark earth. It's like a burnt bronze. And uh, yeah, I like it a lot. So in any case, uh, I'll go ahead and put the details down below, the cost and all that other stuff. A lot of the things I don't like to do is talk about how the money he is all right well that being said guys if you like the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already done so support the red white and blue god bless america god bless those men women hold on in uniform 24 7 for our freedom freedom is not free that's a big old bright light let's go to 132 i am out i'll be good